Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the CSR net. Today I will explain you how you can solve the Fred Mol equations related problem. I will explain you all with the help of the fully shortcut fix. Myself Dr. Harish Kar. You can follow my YouTube channel where you can find the playlist of the CSR UGC net. And before watching this lecture, you must watch about this previous lecture on the resolvent kernel so that you can learn this uh, learn this lecture in a very very simple manner. Apart from that, you can also watch the another lecture related to the CSR net and the gate examination all with the help of the shortcut tricks. Now what is the objective is whenever you will see a questions related to the Fred Mol integral equation make sure you have to write firstly in the standard form that is y is equal to fx and here where this lambda is called as my characteristics value or characteristics value we all know it is called as the eigen value. However, this k x comma t is called as the kernel. Then I discretize this lecture into the two part. The first part is when the kernel is not separated form and second part is when the kernel is written the separated form. In this lecture I will explain you the type 1. However, the type 2 you can see in my next lecture. You can subscribe my YouTube channel so that you can get your notification when I upload the video. How you can remember that which one is the type 1 and which one is type 2? You can see about here. You can see this is the function of the x and t. This is the function of the x and t which are separated by plus sign. This is the function of the x and t because 1 I can return as x raised to power 0, t raised to power 0. This is also the function of the x and t and you can see which are separated by the minus sign. Similarly, if you look about here, I can write this function is sin x into cos of t plus cos of x and sin of t. Again, you can see which is separated by this plus sign. That's why this is called as the separated form. However, in this example, you can see I can, which are not be written in the separated form. It is written in the product form. Similarly, it is in the product. This is a function of the x only. This is a function of the y only, which is separated by multiply sign. So whenever you will see the equation plus or minus symbols appears like of this, then it is called as the separated form. Or you can see in all these cases, you can write the kernel is as function of the x only, function of the t only. While in this case, you have the right, the function of the x and t, function of the x and t, that means the two functions are here. So that's why I'm explaining the first part in this here. Now, what is the firstly thing is, whether you have a non-trivial solution or you have a trivial solution. There are two cases. The first case is whenever you have a kernel, you can integrate them over the limits a to b. If it is equal to 1 over lambda, then we can say it's a non-trivial case. However, if this is not equal to lambda, then we call it the trivial solution or you can say the unique solution. And this, how you, once you know it's a unique solution, how you can find that? That case is integration from whatever the limits a to b, k of t, what is a k of t? You can see, if I look at this example, fine. If I look at this example, what is a k of t? k of t means the function of the t only. So k of t is my only t square. In this case, this is my k of t. In this case, what is my k of t? e raised to power minus of t is the function of the k of t. Then, when is the unique solution appears? Then you have to see k of t into the function should be the 0. And if it is a non-trivial solution, then this value should be non-zero. And this is a very, very important concept. The first case is when it has a unique solution. What is the opposite of this? That means whenever this integration is equal to 1 over lambda. When it is a not equal to, then it's a unique solution. When it is a lambda, then either you have the no solution or infinitely many solutions. When you can say the no solution, okay? So the no, when it's a no solution, it means you can see from A to B, K of T into, now you can see whenever you taken as a Y, then it has a unique. However, if I taken this F, that means F of T into DT and if it is non-zero, then you can say no solution and infinitely many solution when you consider as a zero. You can see this when you when I solve the couple of the example in a very simple manner. I hope you can support my channel by subscribing it. 
द लास्ट लेक्चर वॉज ऑन हाउ यू कैन फाइंड द रिजॉल्वेंट कर्नर इन स्टेड ऑफ दिस आई टोल दिस शॉर्टकट ट्रिक्स रिमेंबर दिस इज एप्लीकेबल ओनली वेन यू गेट एज ए यूनिक सोल्यूशन दैट मीन्स वेन यू प्रूफ दैट दिस कंडीशन होल्ड वेन यू प्रूफ दैट दिस कंडीशन होल्ड देन योर टारगेट इज टू फाइंड दिस सोल्यूशन हाउ यू कैन फाइंड द सोल्यूशन यू कैन ऑलवेज रिमेंबर ऑलवेज फाइंड दिस रिजॉल्वेंट कर्नल what is the shortcut tricks again you can find this value and as i told you this is not equal to then the resolvent in, there is no need to solve by this you can find the resolvent kernel is kernel whatever the kernel is given to you 1 minus lambda times of this expression and you can see that's why i am asking you you must watch my last lecture on the resolvent kernel before watching this today's lecture once you find the resolvent kernel then you can write the solution as y is equal to fx plus lambda replace this kernel by the resolvent kernel into instead of the y you call as the f of t you can scan and join my whatsapp group if you find more lectures and the more shortcut tricks here okay now if you compare this with the standard equation what is the fx is 0 what is the kernel is k of x comma t is x plus t so clearly say this is my type 1 because it is not the separated form then when it has a non trivial solution what is the shortcut to x for you 0 to 1 k x comma x dx is equal to 1 over lambda this is the case for the non trivial always remember whenever you have the fredmol equation always start with the this case now you can substitute the value what is the x comma x e raised to power 2x which is equal to 1 over lambda now what is the integration of this e square minus 1 over 2 is 1 over so what is the value of the lambda lambda is my 2 over e square minus 1 is the right answer for what value of the lambda it has a non zero solution that means the non trivial solution what is my fx is 0 what is the kernel k x comma t is x square e raised to power x plus t so clearly say again this is my type 1 fine so what is the case for that 0 to 1 k x comma x dx is 1 over whenever you will see the integral equation always start from this quantity always start from this quantity whether they are asking or not you can start from this value so what is that 1 to 0 what is the k of x x is x square e of 2x of dx fine now how you can integrate them either you can integrate by parts otherwise because the polynomial term appears what is the shortcut to x as i told you you can write the differentiation of this polynomial part until it becomes a zero and integration of this part e raised to power 2x by 2 e raised to power 2x by 4 e raised to power 2x by 8 and then cross multiply it this this with the sign of positive negative positive that's the integration of this one so what is the integration of this is a x square over 2 e raised to power 2x minus x over 2 e raised to power 2x minus minus e raised to power 2x divided by 4 from 0 to 1 is 1 over lambda now you can substitute this when you substitute 1 it's a 1 over 2 1 over 2 cancel e raised to power 2 divided by 4 when you substitute 0 it's a 0 0 it's a 1 over 4 is 1 over lambda so what is the value of the lambda lambda is 4 over e square minus a1 the integral equation has a unique solution no solution and here again firstly write what is the fx is 1 lambda is my 2 over pi kernel x comma t is my cos square x now start from here a to b k x comma x So what is the answer of this? K x comma x is my cos square x. Now 
you we all know what is the orthogonal property of this is a cos square answer is pi over 2 otherwise you can solve this uh, cos square is my 1 plus cos 2x over 2 again you will get the same answer now does it equal to 1 over lambda yes it is a 1 over lambda so what does it means 0 to a to b k x comma x of dx which is equal to 1 over lambda what does it means it means either it has a no solution or it has a infinitely many solution so that means unique solution will be cancelled out unique solution only when this is not equal to 1 over lambda more than one but finitely many that option is also cancelled now how you can check about the unique solution and no solution that means integration from a to b k of t into f of t fine you can solve this integration if this is not equal to 0 then we call as the no solution if it is equal to 0 we call as infinitely many solution now firstly what is the k of t look at the kernel which function is dependent on the t nothing so that is a 1 so this integration will be 0 to pi 1 what is f of t f of t is also 1 so clearly say the integration is pi which is my non zero that means it has a no solution infinitely many solution cancel out okay look at this another one clearly say lambda is my one fine kernel x i can return in the terms of the x comma t it is my x of t square clearly say this is my type one fine so once you know it's a type one you can find the value of the k x comma x so what is the integration of the x comma x it is the x cube integration of the x cube is 1 over 4 clearly say which is not equal to 1 over lambda so what is the meaning of that that means it give you a unique solution fine so once it's a unique solution what is the solution is you find is resolvent kernel that means k x comma t 1 minus lambda times integration of this part 1 over 4 lambda is my 1 so this will be my 4 over 3 kernel is my x t square fine so therefore my solution will be phi is fx plus instead of this k i can replace by the resolvent kernel x and this phi instead of this phi i can replace as a f of t now that's over i have to integrate with respect to t so i can take on 4 is common x is common 3 so 0 to 1 t square f of t dt now since f is unknown to us so first option is cancel second third option cancel fourth option is the right answer of this problem okay the homogeneous firstly i can write this in the simplified form it should be phi of x is 0 plus lambda times 3x minus 2 of this fine so what is my fx 0 kernel x comma t is my 3x minus 2 of t now your target is to find the eigenvalue 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 and eigenvalue okay one tips for you if f of x is my 0 that means my equation is homogeneous fine then if f of x is my 0 and kernel x comma t is not symmetric fine then it has no eigen value fine so first first condition satisfied check whether k x comma t is equal to k t comma x if this happens that means it is my symmetric but clearly say in this case it is not true that means it is not symmetric it means it has no eigen value it means it has no characteristics now this is the first shortcut tricks that i give you directly 
there is one more method instead of this this shortcut tricks uh, how you can find that eigen value so eigen value that means the lambda again you can always start from here k x comma x is 1 over lambda now find the value of lambda so 1 to 0 k x comma x will be 3x square minus 2x which is 1 over lambda what is the integration of this x cube minus x square from 0 to 1 is 1 over lambda so that means 0 is equal to 1 over so that means lambda is my here which is not possible so that means the only possible thing is my no characteristics number is the right terms okay look at this one again i can write this equation the firstly simplified form e over 2 minus 1 to 1 x e raised to power t phi of t of dt so what is given to you lambda is here what is the kernel kernel is x e raised to power t then which of the four okay we will read the statement later on because it's a integral equation so i can always start from this part integration from minus 1 to plus 1 x comma x so what is the integration of this 1 to minus 1 what is the x comma x is x e raised to power x what is the integration of this is x minus 1 e raised to power x so 1 will be 0 is a minus minus plus 2 e raised to power minus 1 that is a 2 over e and it is equal to 1 over lambda fine so that means either it has a no solution or it has infinitely many solution now what is the condition for the infinitely many solution or the no solution 0 to infinity or oh, sorry uh, limit from a to b this into f of t this one so what is the k of t i can substitute the value of the k t you can find the kernel what is the k of t that is a function of this t fine now if it is non zero then we will get as a no solution if it is zero we get a infinitely many solution look at the options there exists a function for which solution exist that means no solution will be cancel out there exists a function for which the solution exist solution exist and solution exist that means they are talking about the no that the, that means they are talking about the infinitely many solutions so that means my target is to check this one fine now look at the first option can you find a function f can you think about any of the function f such that whose integration will be zero you can see about that first part is function from minus 1 to plus 1 open interval 0 comma infinity what does it means f of t will be non zero because it's a open interval also e raised to power t is my non zero so that means that this integration will be non zero so what does it means that means it has a no solution but he said solution exist first option is cancel out fine now look at the second option second option again the f of t will be the what is the range of this minus infinity comma 0 what does it means f of t will be non zero so if this is my non zero this can never be zero again the integration will be non zero so that means solution no solution exist third case so when f of x is my here so i can substitute here e raised to power t into e raised to power minus of t 1 minus 3t square so what is the integration of this 1 minus 1 to 1 1 minus 3t square does it zero no because this is my even function so once is a even function it can never be zero or you can integrate them it's a t and it's a t cube from minus 1 to plus 1 which is my non zero fine so that means again this case will be cancel okay now uh, is it check it whether it is a zero or not upper limit will be zero 
if you substitute your lower limit it is my minus 1 and it is my minus minus plus 1 is a 0 sorry it's a 0 so it means that option is my correct option okay look at this another one this one if you again this into this that is my t plus t cube plus t raised to power 5 of dt does it zero yes because it's an odd function so integration is zero again zero and zero is my right answer you can check it whether this integration is fine that's a 1 minus 3 t square integration of this is t integration of this is t cube by 3 3 will be cancelled out 1 minus 1 0 is a minus 1 and it's a minus 1 minus minus plus 1 that's a 0 again so that means c and d are my correct answer of this problem okay look at this another one I can write this firstly in the simplified form it is my 2x square plus twice 0 to 1 x minus y of phi of y fine what is the lambda is eigenvalue is my 2 what is the kernel I can write in the form of that t e of x minus t so firstly I can check whether it's a unique solution or not so what is the answer of this x comma x is e raised to power 0 1 integration of the 1 is my here which is not equal to 1 over lambda that means we will get a unique solution so once we get a unique solution that means we can find the resolvent kernel that is my k 1 minus lambda times integration of this what is the lambda lambda is my 2 so k is my e raised to power x minus t over minus 1 so that is a minus of here so what is my solution solution is phi x is equal to fx plus twice 1 to 0 instead of this I can write as this part x minus t into f of t f of t will be 2 times t square fine so I can write this function as twice x square minus 4 e raised to power x will be outside 0 to 1 e raised to power minus of t t square fine now how you can integrate them again it's a polynomial so I can simplify this as I can write the t square here e raised to power minus of this I can differentiate this until it becomes 0 I can integrate them this is minus 1 e raised to power minus of t e raised to power minus t plus minus 1 so I can multiply them with a positive negative positive so what is the integration of this it will be 2x square minus 4 e raised to power x fine e raised to power minus t I can take as a common e raised to power minus 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 e raised to power minus t from 0 to 1 so I can substitute this value 2x square 4 e raised to power x when you substitute 1 it's a minus 5 e raised to power minus 1 when you substitute 0 minus minus plus 2 that is my phi of x now your target is to find the phi of what is the phi 0 0 minus 4 minus 5 e raised to power minus 1 plus 2 so that will be plus 20 over e minus 8 so 20 over e minus 8 this is the a is my right answer b is the cancel now look at this third and fourth option phi of 1 so that will be 2 minus 4 e minus 5 e raised to power minus 1 plus so if I open this bracket minus minus plus 20 minus 8 of e so 22 minus 8 e c is the right answers a and c are the correct answers. again this is the Fred Hall equation you can write in the simplified form firstly fx plus 3 times 0 to t this y 
of this can you find the eigen value 3 can you find the kernel k of x comma t is my tx again this is my type 1 fine so i can start from this part first always start from this category so that will be x square integration of the x square will be x cube so that is again 1 over so what does that means that will give you either no solution or infinitely many solution but consider the equation f is a continuous function which of the following choices has the property of admit at least one solution at least one solution that means either the unique solution or infinitely many solution no solution will be cancelled out unique solution also not possible so what is the case for the infinitely many solution that means k of t into f of t should be 0 so what is my k this is my k of t so that means my target is to check what is the case of this one so we will see which case will satisfy this property so now we will look about the options one by one so let's start with the first option so i can write this equation as here fine so integration from 0 to 1 so look at the first option 0 to 1 t of t square minus half what is the integration of this is a cube so t raised to power 4 over 4 minus t square over 4 from 0 to 1 it will be 0 satisfied first option is the right answer look at the second option 0 to 1 small of t e raised to power t so what is the integration of this t minus 1 e raised to power t from 0 to 1 so when you substitute 1 it's a 0 when you substitute 0 it's my plus 1 which is non-zero so second option is cancel look at the third option from 0 to 1 small t 2 minus 3 of t so the integration will be t square is a 3 t square is a cube from 0 to 1 which is 0 this option is also satisfied 0 to 1 small t of x minus 1 that is a t minus 1 so t square t cube by 3 minus t square by 2 from 0 to 1 clearly say it is a non-zero so the right answers are my a and c are my correct answers always remember start from writing the writing the standard form and find the k x x it is already in the standard form so f of x will be my zero kernel x comma t it is e raised to power x into e raised to power t lambda will be lambda which of the following is a non-trivial solution satisfied here so firstly we can find the k x comma x so it will be e raised to power 2x fine so it is e square minus 1 over 2 now when is the case for the non-trivial when this value when this should be equal to 1 over lambda so that means lambda should be 2 over e square minus 1 fine and this is the solution so what is the solution for the non-trivial case what uh, limit says my 0 to 1 k of t into y that is the solution it should be non-zero fine so what is the k if you look about that k will be my e raised to power t y is my solution that is a y it should be my non-zero for the non-trivial solution so that but he said is equal to zero so that means this option is cancel out always remember if it is a zero then we call as the trivial solution only the trivial solution if it is satisfied this yes you can see here e raised to power t y of t is zero then we have a trivial solution it has a non-trivial solution for all lambda but wrong this is the only lambda for which 
you have a non trivial solution because remember what is the case for the non trivial solution that means this value k x comma x should be 1 over lambda and this value i have obtained this value is here so that means this option is also cancelled the non trivial solution only if this case yes it satisfied and 0 to 1 e raised power t y t is a non zero that's a non trivial case so that is the right answer so b and d are my correct answers okay let k is my here satisfying kernel k x comma y should be less than 1 and integral equation so firstly write in the standard form this is my g of x minus 1 to 0 x comma y f of y dy so what is given to you lambda is my minus 1 fine then always start from here k x comma x of dx uh, later on i will study about this statement what is the kernel kernel is not given but it is given that it is less than 1 for all the pairs of this so you can simply assume that any number which is less than of the one say half fine so what is the integration of this half which is which is not equal to 1 over minus 1 fine you can see you have to taken this number should be modulus less than 1 you can't taken as kx y is minus 1 fine okay so what does it means if it is not then you will get as the unique solution fine now we will see about the solution there exists a g because g is my unknown so that this p of g that is this equation has no solution that's wrong because we get a unique solution this has a solution for infinitely many g remember this is not for the solution this is for the g so we will see about later the solution is unique if g is my continuous that's the solution is unique there exists a g for which this has infinitely many solution but we will get as a unique solution now check about the second option p of g has a solution what does it means it has a unique solution so yes it has a unique solution and if you want to find the solution because it's a unique solution you have to find the resolvent kernel that is a kxt kernel i have taken as a half 1 minus lambda times integration of this lambda is my minus 1 so it is half over 3 by 2 that is 1 over 3 so my solution will be f of x is gx minus integration from 0 to 1 instead of this kernel i have to replace by the resolvent kernel instead of this f i have to replace as a g of y now you can see that whenever g uh, whenever g is my c comma 0 comma 1 fine so it has a finite number because it's a integrable function so this is a finite answer this is the finite so you can subtract them you will get a finite so how many g's exist how many g exist there are infinitely many g for which the solution is unique so the right answers are a sorry uh, the right answers are my b and c are my right answer of this problem okay look at this another one uh, for which of the following case okay you can solve this problem with the help of the green also by using the green theorem but since i am talking about this as a integral equation we can also solve this here very simple this is my kernel and your target is to prove this one the first method i can start from here and reaching about the options second way you can taken out the options and prove that this equation will satisfy fine so let's start with the first one y double dash x plus 2 times y of x will be 0 clear now i can integrate them with respect to 0 to x y double dash x dx plus 2 times 0 to x yx dx 
so what is the integration of this y dash x from 0 to x so that means y dash 0 plus this is no integration so i can return this as here yx dx what is the y dash 0 y dash 0 uh, what is the value of this y dash 0 is not given to you so i can assume y dash 0 is a constant called as the alpha fine so i can return this number is my alpha now since again y dash is given because i need a y so i can again integrate them from 0 to x so what is the integration of this is alpha x this is my double integration 0 to x 0 to x y of x dx dx is my 0 fine so this integration will be y of x minus y0 y0 is my 0 minus alpha x plus now you can see because it's a double integration you can use about the convolution part so it is my 0 to x x minus t i can return in the terms of t fine now how you can find the value of alpha because y of 1 is my 0 so that means this is 0 this is my minus alpha plus 2 times 0 to 1 1 minus t y of t dt is my 0 so that means alpha will be my alpha will be my here fine now that's over now from here you can you can choose the right answer so here i can substitute this value as here so what is my y is alpha x alpha will be twice 0 to 1 x 1 minus t y of t of dt minus twice 0 to x x minus t y of t of dt fine because uh, right now i am explaining you explaining you that's why i am written each and every step but in the examination you can skip you can do the many calculation in your mind always so i can take an as a two common so that is over now i have to make them zero to one so that's a very simple i can break this integration i can write this integration as here is a twice because i have to integrate with respect to t so x will be here now i can break this integration from zero to x and then x to 1 fine minus this integration is 0 to x now you can see this is the integration from of the dt from x to 1 that means x to 1 x to 1 x to 1 and x to 1 what is the function is here you can check about that this is the x square cancel out this is the root x cancel out this is cancel out fine now you can see about the first option whether the first option is a correct or not what is the answer of this here x into t minus 1 now we can see about the first part also the first part is t less than x that means 0 to x what is this portion x 1 minus t and this is my negative of x minus t now you can check it it is x minus tx minus x plus of t you can see t will be common 1 minus x is the right answer of this problem so this is the way you can solve this question in a very simple manner i hope you can subscribe you can like my video as well you can scan and join my whatsapp group if you feel that it is interesting and learning many tricks we will see the next lecture on the type 2, how you can solve this Fredmol equation when you have the type 2 problems. Till then, you can like, share and comment on my video. Best of luck students. Happy learning.